How's it going everybody? This is Patrick with SFMF Fishing and today we have our six cents box. So we have our card. There are six baits, one terminal tackle, and as always with six cents, this is nothing but quality. So we're just going to dig right into it. Um, what I did also was grab a couple few of my boxes which some of this tackle will be going into just to show you um, first I'll go ahead and we got a 6.3 inch green pumpkin burst uh, worm and um, again like all of six senses products this is nothing but quality I think uh, they gave us the terminal tackle to go with this. This is a nice looking worm. It's got the ridges right here. Uh, it, it creates a little wake in the water. So, yeah, I, can, I'm, I am excited about using this worm. Uh, I'm not much of a worm person, but for some reason, Six Senses Worms do something it's they just look vicious enough to catch fish so the next bait I have in here is um, let's go ahead and grab the terminal tackle and that would be a four rot um, wide gap hook um, these are on and these are only Three ninety nine. dollars uh, You get five hooks, quality forged hooks, five of them, $3.99. It's not three hooks for $6 or something, you know, outrageous like that. These are premium hooks, and this will go with the, with the plastic, so with the, with the worms. The terminal tackle will go with and what we have next is a 50x it is a it says a Thule perch it's a yellow black a little bit of uh, off yellow brownish on the top I I'll take this out because this will go in the box but here you go right here so i can show you the color hopefully that's visible and with the 50x it's a smaller bait it's got a light rattle but the 50 does work well this is a good color for around where i live uh anything yellowish purple i mean purchase is a good color I can't wait to throw this. So this is going to go, and this runs two to five feet. So, of course, this is going to go into my two to five foot crankbait box. And as you can see, I'm actually opening this box with one hand. And let me just show you right here and right here are my um 50 x's right here are my hundreds up here i have hundreds right here i have the flats right up here i have my my um swank 77s so this will go right in here and there we go we have in addition to our 50 x's the two to five and what else do i have here i have a one to three movement 80x i won't be pulling this out of the box i have this color already i'll just put this in a bag and keep it as a spare you never know if i'm gonna lose one 
or if one gets destroyed or I do another giveaway and I want to put this in the giveaway bag so but this is an ADX ADX I caught on the black magic ADX I caught my personal best a seven pound largemouth with the black magic ADX and the ADX I have never gone wrong with throwing an ADX it depends on the color of course this particular color I don't use around in my region but there are regions where this color will rock so this will be saved because I have this already and I have a hybrid I, I will pull this out but I have this already I have this particular one I have it in this it's a hybrid swim crank and it, it's a it's a swim bait with a bill this one particular one dives zero to one foot it's a sunfish bluegill whatever you want to call it um this is what it looks like i have this one and i have it also they make one just with the bill going slightly this way to give you a one to three foot crank so you don't have to guess with your depth with your swim bait you want to have your swim bait run on the top you use this you want it to run a little below the water along the shoreline you use the one to three so but i have this particular color i have three different colors this is one of them so this will go into i have already bag and maybe it'll be a giveaway maybe it will just be saved in case i need need uh need it all over again because it got destroyed um what else do i have i have and this is so funny i have the swank 77 black magic it's right here and i just gave put this in a giveaway that's how much i love this bait um this the swank 77 black magic i will pull out of my box and show you i have it right here and it is right here and this is also a two to five foot diver that's why it's in my two to five uh crankbait now look at that bill it's very erratic but if the part about the swank 77 i think personally is the bearings or the beads inside this bait listen you have a heavy thud and you have a loud rattle you get both the thud and the rattle when you're retrieving this so it's such an unusual sound to the fish it's something that if everybody's throwing crankbaits you want to throw a 77x the reason being is this rattle is so unusual they have to at least reaction strike it to find out what the heck it is it does have um kind of like a bluegill type yellow and orange on the bottom but the eyes again they glow they seem like they glow underwater even though they don't but it's the way the light hits them and the light reflects through the water these are great baits and i already have one for a backup and as much as i throw that particular color in that particular bait it's okay to have two <coughs> excuse me two in backup uh let me let me see here now i have last but not least i can't believe with all the jigs i have um it's a divine three eighth ounce hybrid jig it is a they call it delta craw and this particular color if i can ever get it their packaging is great i'll tell you 
Besides their baits being the Cadillacs of all lures, their packaging is is great. Nothing's gonna happen to any of this these baits as long as it's uh in its packaging. And the Delta Craw, here you go. It is black and it's red. Got some little bit of red strands in there. As much as I love throwing black, this is going to be awesome. Um, so, just to show you, this is my jig box. Um, this is jigs and, tr and uh, chatter baits. So, as you can see, I don't have a true black jig in here. So this is going to be a great addition. I, I honestly cannot believe I do not have a true black jig. Now I do. That little bit of red is good because when you're picking your, um, <coughs> excuse me, your, your jig trailer, I don't know if you guys know about jig trailers, but you just, you, it, there's a science, okay? Now I could pick. A dark bait to use as a jig trailer on this something close to a black and this will look like a black lure now if I pick something like this this is a greenish red Berkeley creature bait um, if I pick something like that and put it on here just because there's about four or five strands of red on here all of a sudden this jig looks like a red jig it's so when you pick your jig trailer and you pick your jigs um that lit those those four or five strands of a different color that is in your jig whether it be a chartreuse in white where this looks all of a sudden it looks white um it, it's if i if i used a chartreuse swim bait on this this would look like a yellow jig uh it, it just it's just the way it is it's um um i've got like an orange -ish brown jig right here with a orange brown creature bait it's a six cents um creature bait and um it's it's perfect for this six cents jig so what you want to do when you pick your jig trailers Pick them wisely. Just don't go with a solid color. You can go with a color that kind of matches that skirt. But if you go with a solid color, be bold. Go with a color that those three or four strands are. You'll be surprised how much this black jig would turn into a red jig. Um, so that's my trailer advice to everybody. And with that, that's all that came in the box, which I said is pretty darn good i mean there are six baits in a uh, terminal which which is outstanding now i do have a question if you guys want to comment or say anything about would you like to see all 14 of my runsell cases um i could do a video and show you what I throw for hard baits and um, jigs. Well, you basically seen the jigs, but for the hard baits, what I have for a collection of six cents lures, because most of my hard baits that I throw on a regular basis is six cents. If you want to see a video of me doing a, a, a what's in my box comment let me know I have no problems in doing that but if not you can say nah that's okay we believe you it, it's not gonna hurt my feelings but if you know any veterans okay and you haven't heard from them for a while and you want to make sure they're okay you want to give them a call give them a buddy check make sure everything's hunky-dory we do appreciate that. Sometimes that one call is all we need. And till next time, peace out. 
and we'll see you later.